Now we see solar energy, which is reflected from this mirror and focused in this way. And this receiver converts the solar energy into water steam. It is a prototype of one of my solar heaters. The goals of my future solar heater are described by this formula, which leads us to the cost of solar heat at the level of half a cent per kilowatt hour, and it is approximately 10 times cheaper than the cost of heat from natural gas. In addition, this cheap thermal energy can be used to generate solar electricity, which is cheaper than electricity from thermal and nuclear power plants. The second half of this video will describe how we can turn this thermal energy into electricity 24 hours a day, both during the day and at night. This is the prototype of my second idea for the production of very cheap solar heat. I remind you that such experiments are described in detail in other videos of my YouTube channel. And this second idea aims at these goals, which leads us to this cost of our solar heat, half a cent per kilowatt hour. Here we can see that the total construction cost of my mirror should be about $10 per square meter. This is realistically achievable, because my mirror consists of this mesh of steel rods worth $3, and this reflective film at a price of 25 cents per square meter. The mirror of my first idea is more expensive, and it is a mirror version of cheap stainless steel. The wholesale prices of this mirror sheets are less than $10 per square meter. I remind you that I am aiming for this cost of my stainless mirror, about $15 per square meter. This is just the beginning of my experiments, which will be described in my future videos. I will also research and describe other types of mirrors for cheap solar heaters, and for example now I am showing the idea of this American company. It is a balloon, made of this transparent film and this reflective film, which focuses solar radiation. This is also a balloon, but it is very large and was proposed by this Austrian company. Its reflective film focuses solar radiation in this receiver. This German idea is the second example, and the basis of this mirror is cheap and long-lasting concrete. I plan to start experimenting with the cheapest option of similar concrete mirror in two months. This is the third example of cheap mirrors, and I have been testing these mirrors at this my solar station during almost 8 years. Of course, we know about traditional solar heaters for large solar power plants, and this is the first type of the traditional heaters. This is the second traditional type of solar heaters. And this is number 3. This is type number 4. And now I am showing the fifth traditional solar heater type, which is used by this new solar power plant in China. Unfortunately, these five traditional types use very expensive mirrors and systems to turn them according to the movement of the sun across the sky. Their cost is about several hundred dollars per square meter, and it is 30 or 50 times more expensive than those cheap mirrors, which I will research and describe in my future videos. So, I propose the second road to cheap solar electricity, which is parallel to the first road of these five traditional types of solar heaters. The second road goes through experimental and economic testing of various types of extremely cheap mirrors and through maximum simplicity of our solar heaters. The simplicity gives us the following advantages – low cost, reliability, small investment. Which of the two roads is better, we can understand by similar formulas, and the winner will be the road that will offer cheaper thermal energy at the temperature we need. So, it is only competition, and I am not an enemy of these traditional ways, and I believe in their prospects and ability to win against solar panels. In addition, we understand that I must find cheap options for such turns according to the movement of the sun. That is why I am looking for different options, which are several dozen times cheaper than traditional ones, and I will describe them in my future videos.
How cheap heat from our solar heaters turns into electricity is demonstrated by these well-known solar stations. We know that these concave mirrors focus solar radiation into this receiver, where the solar energy heats thermal oil with a temperature of 300 or 400 degrees Celsius. Then the hot oil is moved through pipes to these heat storages which are filled with this salt, but it is molten and looks like this. This liquid salt is heated by that hot oil, which then returns to the solar heaters for heating. Thus, we have several thousand tons of salt with a temperature of almost 400 degrees Celsius, and we can take this thermal energy 24 hours a day for a steam turbine that can produce electricity both day and night. The principles just described can be illustrated by this circuit, and it is obvious that this circuit is implemented in the following way for the case of our cheap solar heaters. We understand that these receivers must heat oil with a temperature of about 300 degrees Celsius. It is obvious that our solar power plant should consist of thousands and millions of similar devices which are combined in long rows. The edges of these rows should be connected through hot oil pipes with similar heat storages and a steam turbine. This formula tells us that we come to this cost of our solar electricity, and I remind you that this formula corresponds to this circuit. Unfortunately, this is a bad circuit, despite the fact that it has been well known for several decades and is used by almost a hundred large solar power plants in different countries. The badness of that circuit is visible in our formula, and this is its weak point. This weak point is seen not only by me, but also by thousands of other engineers and inventors. That is why we all seek and explore other circuits which reduce this cost of electricity to the level of 5 cents per kilowatt hour or less, and the cheapest circuits will be described in my future videos. Now I am trying to show you the huge variety of different circuits with a few examples, and this is the first example of one of the Swiss startups. Their heat transfer is not hot oil, but ordinary air, and this animation shows how their mirrors heat the air inside the receiver to a temperature of about 600 degrees Celsius. This is the second example, and this is one of the American startups which recently received more than 100 million dollars of investment. They use a lot of such mirrors, which direct solar radiation to the top of this tower, where solar energy heats not hot oil, but ordinary air, to a temperature of about a thousand degrees Celsius. This is our heat storage, which is filled not with molten salt, but with cheap stones, and the hot air passes between the stones and transfers the thermal energy to them. This is another example, and this solar station has many similar mirrors for collecting solar energy and this heat storage, which is filled not with expensive salt, but with cheap sand. Now we are seeing how solar energy heats the surface of moving sand to temperatures higher than 600 degrees Celsius. Thus, our goal is to reduce the cost of our heat storage by several tens of times by replacing expensive and dangerous molten salt with sand, stones or other extremely cheap materials. Very cheap heat storage not only significantly reduces the cost of our electricity, but also allows to store heat for several days of operation of our steam turbines for electricity production during cloudy days. This possibility leads to an increase in this value, and this fact also reduces the cost of our solar electricity additionally. Furthermore, my future videos will describe similar experiments and ideas for heat storages which can accumulate large amount of solar thermal energy in summer and store it until winter. This possibility will allow our solar power plants to operate stably for 12 months of the year, but their heat storages must be filled with very cheap materials, perhaps ground, or perhaps waste from mining, or waste from some plants and factories.